I'm almost at half health. Yeah, in for a penny. Okay, I got this. Level 17, damn straight. Uh, you know what? Over sand attack? Absolutely. Ooh, metal powder. Cool. Oh, hello. Game? Hello. Thank you. Metal powder. I'm not sure what that does. I think that makes her Pokemon slower? I think so. Because... maybe? Or no, that's the that's the iron ball, isn't it? Or the chain, iron chain? I can't remember what it's called. It's basically a ball and chain. Although I don't think it's called that. You know, that's pretty much what it is. Um, I'd like to fit, fight that spinnerack, but I'm pretty low on health right now. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm about four seasons in, according to Netflix. And I've been watching for maybe a week. Maybe a week? Not even, I don't think. No, it's been less than a week. It's been well less than a week. Four, four days, maybe? <clears throat> and I'm already that far in. So. <laughs> it's, watch while, it's what I watch while I'm uh, waiting for a video. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. Something feels like it's in it. It's all good now. All right, we're almost at Pidgeotto. So if we can fly on Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto awesome. If we can't, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's not unexpected. Totally expected. I hear a ladybug. I don't see a ladybug. Ladybug. Yeah, I hear you. I don't see you. Show yourself. I'm not sure I want to risk fighting a Ledian. That's for sure. A Ladyba, though. Not a problem. Yeah, I don't know where you are. You in the water? No, I hear splashing. Huh, I don't see you. You sound so close, though. You're probably just really loud. Um, boom, boom, boom. So uh, I've been burning through that show pretty quickly, uh, and then some Murkrow. Oh, Murkrow. Goodbye, Murkrow. Um, once I once I wrap that up or get caught up on Netflix anyway, um, I think it's on Crunchyroll, so I should be able to catch it there as well. At least I think it is. It might not be. I don't know. I might get stuck with what's just available on Netflix. Uh, you know what? I'm not a fan of the rain. Okay, now it's bright outside. We can get some Sawaddles, we can get some Caterpie, we can get some Metapod, we can get some Kakuna and Beedrill. And I think Letibus still spawns in the day. Uh, but after I wrap up that show, I'm probably going to check out... Uh, Something no hero. I can't remember what the first word is. Uh, from my understanding, it's like uh, it's like your typical just shonen superhero show. Uh, so that'll be interesting. I don't usually watch shonen shows. The majority of what I watch has typically been shojo. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, Toradora, Oromo, um, what else? Hmm. 
Now that I'm trying to think of stuff, I can't think of them off the top of my head. Oh, Hagenai. Uh, what else have I watched? I've watched a lot of the ones that are like quite similar to uh, Hagenai structure, where it's like the the high school, like uh, oh, like uh, Haruhi and all that kind of stuff. Although. I would not say that Haruhi and Haganai are anything alike. <laughs> Initially, they would seem similar until you get probably about two episodes into Haruhi and you realize, oh, this is like something completely different. Not Madoka level, but you know, different. <laughs> A level 8 Bell Sprout? I'm gonna fight you. Bye bye. Another bell sprout. Level 13, level 17. Let's start with the 13. Work our way up. Go for your growth. And we're level 18. Okay, we are totally blocked. Just take my word, there is a Pidgey evolving right here. Ish. That actually might be me. I don't know who is where. Basically, we're getting a Pidgeotto. Yay, Pidgeotto. And just for funsies. Oh. Oh, okay, the Poison Powder missed. Lovely. Can I fly on a Pidgeotto? No, I cannot. You are small. What is your, what is your size? Tangled Feet. Raises evasion if the Pokemon is confused. Interesting. Uh, stats. You are small, that is for sure. High special defense. You have no EV or IV values? Interesting. Or no, nature value, nature bonuses, that's what it is. Uh, you have special attack. Yeah, you had attack. Oh, right, the centret's gone anyway, so. Uh, Tumbelina's got good defense, poor special attack, that's actually. I'm perfectly content with that. She is not a special attacker. Uh, but yeah, so we've got our guys up to decent levels. I could probably fight some Bellsprout with Flutter. With uh, Flutter, I think I could anyway. Oh wow, we're actually like super well over time. Uh, instead of Instead of doing an official, like, sign-off here, I think, considering how far over time I am, I'm just gonna... What is... Something is here. Something is here. Huh. Weird. Like, super weird. Casting a perfectly round shadow, so I think it's an entity. But it's not- and it's also not centered on the block, so that makes me think entity even more. That's so weird. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna record this for the length of two episodes and then split it up. Uh, anyway. Actually, I could fight Ekans really well with a Butterfree, assuming it's a low enough level. Level 17, that's a no. If it was 7, I would have said yes. And I almost threw when I saw the 7. I... I was like, well, let me let me readjust my viewing angle so I can get the the full level display out. Mining. Honestly, uh, poison types would be the best option for me. So Ekans. Uh, Bellsprout is Bellsprout pure grass? I don't 
think there was a pure grass type in Gen 1 other than Tangela, right? I feel like I've heard this discussion somewhere. Oh, right. Haha. <laughs> I've heard that discussion on the uh, Team Four Star Nuzlocke. Oh. Well, let's check it out. There's a bell sprout down there. Bye, Abra. Kadabra. Confusion. Yes, it is definitely dual typed with poison. Confirmed. They drop vines, that's kind of cool. Oh my god, look at that itty bitty cadabra. So t teeny tiny. Oh, you know what I should have made with the, the blue and yellow? Hold on. Let me go make another type of ball. Because this one is extremely valuable. Um, especially, especially if you're trying to get an abra. Not that, not that we are right now, because we're... Pretty much at our limits for all the surrounding areas. I believe I need two of you and one of you. Yes, quick balls. That is it. I'm gonna be making all of these. Quick balls are great because they have. Quick balls are great because they have a. Um, a, what is it times four times eight I think it's I think it's times eight I think it's the same as a maxed out timer ball uh, capture modifier um, if thrown on the first turn or I believe in the context of Pixelmon also in if thrown without engaging in a battle I think it's both. I don't think it's... they changed it. I think they did the original... Um, the original modifier, and then that uh, out of battle one, too. I don't think they did one or the other. So... These are also great for legendaries. Uh, the ability to open up with a uh, capture attempt. Uh, even though it's, you know, legendaries have an extremely high catch rate, uh, it definitely makes it possible to do it. So, if you want to be super risky and, uh, and, uh, live on the edge, you get to try to catch your level 70 legendary, uh, <laughs> with a team of level 20s. Just go in, quick ball it, hope you win, uh... Honestly, if you if you catch an Eevee or something else with Runaway as its uh, as its ability, a good idea would be to just toss your Quick Ball. Uh, ooh, level twenty five. That's a little out of my range. Uh, so yeah, get into the fight with your Eevee out front, toss the Quick Ball, and then run away, assuming it doesn't kill you on the turn that you threw your ball. Pidgey. Or if you ha or if you're at the point where you just have sacrificial Pokemon, there's like, yeah, go for it. Um, looking for poison types. I'm trying to think, what would the best biome for poison types be? I think Ekans is probably the most common low-level poison here. In this game, uh, is slant is sand slash dual typed with poison? I don't think he is. I think he's pure ground. He just happens to know poison sting. If, if I remember correctly, anyway, it's been a long time since I've seen a whole bunch of the Gen One Pokemon. I know poison type is also. Oh, actually, you know what? The swamps would be the best place. Although I don't really want to. Start catching in a swamp. Level 11. Eh, if things get too bad, I'll send out Venomoth. Level 11 Venomoth? Venomoth. 
Oh no. Uh, let's switch to Flutter. Oh, you're gonna wish you hadn't. Oh, that was it? How much money did I get? Eh, a little bit. Actually, it should be in chat, right? No? No, it's not. Should have paid more attention. Well, Butterfree's down for the count, so... Well, not down for the count. That would mean fainted, but... She was just, uh... She was just a little injured. Level is that gloom. 31? You know. You know. Don't really want to bother, bother with a level 5 Caterpie. Uh, but anyway, what was I saying before? Grass types. Before that, I was talking about stuff that I watch. Right. I was saying that I mostly watch stuff like shoujo stuff. Um... Like Toradora and stuff like that. Yeah, level 7. Metapod. I'll take. Metapod. There you go. Poison Powder. Absolutely. Stun Spore. Yes, please. Sleep Powder. No, thank you. Okay, cool. I've got great disables. Burmy? I don't think I've ever seen a Burmy before. Oh wait, yes I have. Why are you the desert Burmy? Aren't you supposed to be the leafy Burmy in this area? That's weird. I also didn't know that they incorporated the different types of Burmy. So that's cool. Level 29 Butterfree? Nope. <laughs> All of the nope. Nope through Monday and nope through Friday. Nope through every other day. 43 and 36? Nope. Um, so yeah. I think I've definitely seen just as much shoujo, if not more shoujo, than I have shonen. For anyone who doesn't know what that means, uh, shonen is, from my understanding, basically translates to for boys uh, and uh, shoujo basically translates to for girls uh, I don't think that's the exact translation uh, like pff, don't take my word for it at all uh, I've not done an ounce of Japanese <laughs> studying in any sense of uh, any sense at all just <laughs> just leave it at that um, but I have picked up a few words that's about it and for the most part I watch stuff dubbed so uh, Unless it's something that's like a really older show, and then typically it's better to go with the original. There was a time where dubbing was not great. Not great at all. It's certainly improved, and I'm sure people still argue that subtitles are better, but meh. Uh, personally, it is super, uh, super experience breaking for me to have to continuously focus on the bottom of the screen. And I am a slow reader too, so there are instances in some shows, and I'm finding this is especially true with the Netflix subtitling, uh, seems to be off sync with the, with the audio. So there have been instances where somebody says something, there is no subtitle under the person speaking, and then it pops up for a brief second after they finish their sentence and somebody else has started talking. Uh, there have been times where the subtitles were so late that by the that they try to catch up quickly, so you get like three different people talking uh, one after the other, but then the subtitles just like flash quickly between the three between the two different people, like full sentences just 
swapping out in like less than a second. I think the most that I've seen like that was there was five lines, five lines from two di from three different characters that all zoomed by uh, to the point where I had to pause and unpause frame by frame <laughs> in order to catch what was being said, uh, just because they were they flipped through them so quickly. And I think it's because the the subtitles are stored separately from the from the video, which makes sense. So you can you know offer the. Ooh, do I dare? I dare. The worst thing you can have is, oh well, I was gonna say, vine whip, which would be not very effective. But then there you go, poison powder. Level 13, okay. Poison doesn't affect you out of battle on this, does it? Nope. Okie dokie. Not bad. I should really be leveling up Tumbelina, I think. Now that I think about it. Hey, Voltorb. Bye, Voltorb. Want to avoid that Flaffy as well. Alright. Heal him up. Because Butterfree is great and all, but the fact of the matter is, I have hit the peak with Butterfree. There's not much more I can do. Regardless, we are at time for today, so I'm probably just going to train her on Magikarp off camera. Just to be super safe and all that. So that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.